Alright, so it's some 23 minutes uh, to hit 8 o'clock and um, this is Love 99.5. It's the 1st of um, September 2023. Many of us are excited about it because it tells us all that Charlie, we're blessed, we're favored to be alive. Now, our conversation this morning is just about begin. And, um, you know, you would agree with me that to a large extent we're raised to know that it is the man's responsibility or the man's, you know, uh, role you know, to fend or produ- provide for the home. Whilst to a large extent, it is a woman's role to cook and clean and, you know, take care of the home by way of when there are children and stuff like that. But in today's world, a lot has changed. And again, with the tough economic conditions that we, we find ourselves in, question is, should household expenses be shared equally between the, you know, the partners, spouses and all? I mean, so husbands and wife, should they share the household expenses equally amongst them and, 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 and pay? Now, I'd like to hear from you because um, you as much as part of this conversation as we all are. And our uh, WhatsApp number is 055 especially if you're a wife. Uh, how would you respond to such a thing? I mean, such a, 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 an argument where you're asked to, for example, contribute 50% to the household expenses. I'd like to hear from you. Also, um, if you're a husband, I'd like for you to be a part of our conversation as well i'm trying to ambush somebody so if you're watching us uh you know on on facebook on facebook uh, i was i was trying to ambush somebody to be a part of the conversation but i don't think it's going to be fair so let me just hold on my horses right now but leo you and i have had a series of conversations about you know this you know off air you'll be sharing your thoughts with us when we go on, on air shortly but i'd like for you to you know play uh, some of the voices that have come through for people to appreciate what people, people's thoughts are beginning with this very one take a listen to somebody's thought on on the, on the subject matter morning david happy new month i hope say september and the whole topic here very interesting you provide i mean provision should come all out 100 percent. but these days the economy do not support it and one thing we should know is that our cultural circumstances our way of life do not support it. Say, Bema, we are Komasika and Wafreba and so on, so me and Abosom of Ebimra. One thing is clear if a woman wants more than necessary, then we should look at our income circumstances. The woman should know how much you can provide. It's not how much you earn, but how much you can provide based on your commitment, based on your leadership in the household, and so on and so forth. If Obani J said the other bano and so on, then she should check her circumstances and bring hers to support it. A woman shouldn't ask you more than you can provide. That one is dangerous. And in that circumstance, and I hold on now percentage in the baby, there's nothing beautiful. You earn ten thousand as a man. Would the fifty percent ever? Fifty percent out of the ten thousand is five thousand. Obano or your secretary or baby kit to have been nine thousand five. On also send the commitment in tea or the fifty percent of a thousand five but and so would the no ten percent but the commitment to provide that to support the household no well his name is Joe he joins us on the phone lines right now because when we listen to him we were like listen we need we need to have him to expand shit on what he's saying so Joe is on the line uh Joe good morning to you 
Good morning, David. I trust you well, my brother. I'm keeping well. Yourself? The Lord is my shepherd. I am well as well. And uh, happy new month to you, your crew, and your whole listeners. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Also on the line is another lady. Uh, she's also married and uh, she joins us on the phone line to also share her views on the matter. Hi, ma'am. Good morning to you. Hello, madam. Good morning. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Um, yes. I'm good. Good that you can hear me. So, hold the line for me, madam. Let me start off with Joe. So, uh, Joe, I have listened carefully to your, uh, your voice notes you sent in, all right? But one bit that catches my attention that gets me a bit confused is this. When, for example, you mentioned that, listen, a, a man could be earning, let's say, 10,000 Ghana cities. He can say that his contribution, contribution by way of percentage to the household expenses is 50% of his earnings. That is uh, 5,000. Then, let's say the wife is a secretary. She earns, let's say, 1,500. So she would also say, well, my contribution, contribution to the house expenses is 750. Now, I'm asking this question, Joe, do you think that if the tables should flip, where the woman is the one earning the 10,000 and the man is the one earning the 1,500, should the contributions, as you mentioned in the earlier scenario, still hold or stand? Uh, the dynamics will change a bit. If the table turns in, in her favor, then I wouldn't even think of percentages. I would just bring the whole 1,500 on the table and then ask her to just knock something off for me to do the knockabout. Seriously, um, our leadership role do not support this assertion that I have brought something, so you two bring something. But then the economic situation when the tables turn, some of these things have to be discussed because of the love, because of the commitment that we share in order to keep the house running. But Joe, tell me this. I mean, aren't we told that when the two come together, they become one. Now, if the two have come together as husband and wife and they are one, shouldn't the expenses be something that, you know, should be shared without any, uh, 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 you know, worry as to whether this is a man of the house, head of the family and stuff like that? I mean, we are together as one. What is a big deal if we want to spend whatever we've earned? <laughs> you see, David, tomorrow if you have time, just attend any wedding or engagement ceremony. There's what we call item 11. The item 11 is the advice, voluntary advice, or uh, maybe people are prepped to give advice to the couple. In our circumstance, in our cultural circumstance, in our cultural setting, the woman is always advised that uh, we may be a fabric free. We don't initiate our woman into a 50-50 kind of relationship where whatever resources that you have, you make it available to the family. So this is, in our contemporary uh, settings, this is something, a conversation that we can initiate. But whatever it is, the man is supposed to be the provider of the home. Mm -hmm. The woman, as a matter of um, our living together, she also look at how much budget or how much the earning power the man has in order to provide for the home. But Joe, what is wrong if the woman is the provider of the home? Does it take away anything from the man? It doesn't, provided the man uh, do not have complex. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when the dynamics changes like that, the man has to play an extra, extra, extra tactical role. What it is is, let's say, out of uh, the economic situation have been re uh, and trends. And I hear you idea can say. I'm in the house and the woman is earning fifteen, twenty thousand. She's the one paying the school fees, she's the one supporting with rent and so on and so forth. My manly role in the house should be a bit reconciliatory. Mm -hmm. Now everything has to be discussed, has to be decided by both parties. Now, if the woman is paying, you can do your what in Kumasi you call like a capitalism. You should mellow, take a softer ground, and most of these things are shared. After all, that's what love is about. I hear you. Let, let me speak to the lady on the line. Hi, ma'am. Good morning to you. Good morning, David. How are you? I, allow me to ask this question. For how long have you been married for? Um, for about 15 years. F 15? Did I hear you say 15 years? Yes, one five. Oh. 
Hey, so how many be nice fifty? I'm a senior. Mine is nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> 19 years I hear you Joe but 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 madam I mean tell me this what what has been your contribution when it comes to the household expenses if you don't mind my being personal like that what has been your contribution is it what you think you want to contribute or is 50 50 or what no it can't be 50 50 it is what I think I can contribute at the end of the month we don't share any everything equally the man is the head of the house I compliment, so I do not assume the role of headship. Let's say, for example, he comes up to you today and says to you, sweetheart, I want the economy, the economy is tough and rough. So as from today, I want you to contribute 50% of your earnings. I'll bring 50% of my earnings for us to spend on the house upkeep. What will be your response? Um, well, we have, in my situation, we have learned to understand each other. Okay, at the point, my husband's job was dividend. For some time he was not working. So I was the one doing everything. Well, whether fortunately or unfortunately, he has a son, one. So, and he, the school he goes to, most of the time, I do payments on the fee. I, I cater for him everything. You see. So, but the utilities and other things, he does them. Even though we haven't shared it 50 50, that understanding is there. If he has, he brings. If I don't have, if I have, I also contribute. But then he is aware that he's the head of the house. He needs to provide. So he will break to the name to provide for the house. He makes me understand that. So, so you're saying that he will do I everything it takes. I have for the month. I said, mm. okay, I don't have this for the month. I can't pay fees this month. I can't pay electricity. I said, okay, then I will do it. Uh -huh. So that doesn't take anything away from him. He still respects me. I also still respect him. And it doesn't mean I have assumed the head of the house. No, I don't. So, so, and that's one, one interesting point you make, you make a note of there. You know, many times people are of the view that when a woman contributes to the house upkeep or even does more than the man does, the, the, the woman can become, you know, a, a person who is not submissive to the husband anymore. Um, is that true? No, it is not. It, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Uh, my other colleague said we have been initiated into the 50-50 uh, thing. You know, like when you are married, you tell you, if you get something, bring it home. That one is dead. But I disagree with you if you say the women have been initiated. No. It is to tell you that where you are going, go and do your best. If you get something, bring it home. But take care of your family first. You get it. When I say take care of your family first, mm -hmm. which of the families are you referring to here? Because if you're married and have children, that's a family. Your husband, and if there are children, fine. If there are no children, it is your husband who will be your immediate family. That is the nuclear family before the extended one. But if, if, if you recall, I think we had, you know, uh, Mark Dan in our studios here, and we had a yeah. conversation, and at, at the time, he mentioned that a woman's money is her money. Leo, do you remember? Yes. And that well, husband should not... It is her money. Yes, it is her money, but then she has to contribute to upkeep of the house. You get it? It is her money, but she needs to contribute to the upkeep of the house. So, you know, when a woman needs to go to the farm, they were not bringing in money as such. But they will go and bring food stuff. It is part of that money they are bringing. It is their contribution to the house. That is why you see the woman carrying food stuff on the head, the child at the back, and then the man is holding a cutlass and then they are going home. When they get to the house, it is the woman who will fetch water for the husband to bath, prepare food for their children and the husband to eat. You see? And I just also hear her. She will and do it. It is all part of the contribution mm -hmm. to the house. I don't know. 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 So, looking at the economic situation we find ourselves in right now, where things are really rough and tough, what would you want to say to women, especially wives out there? What would you want to say to them, having been married for 15 years? Well, women should still be submitted. They should do whatever they can to provide for the house. They should not leave everything for the man to do. The, the operative word is equally, but don't share it equally. 
Se si a se wukunu ejuma se ye no betia. You would have to take care of the house. Usu ejuma nya onu no beye. But if you earn more than your husband, please you still be submitted. That is the role of a woman. Even the Bible says it. The Quran, I believe, says that too. You see, whether you are a, a Christian, a Muslim, or whatever, no, or bow would you to be submitted to so, um, you have to be submitted to your husband. Whether you earn three times, four times than him, please you be submitted and understand each other. That will make the mar- marriage go a long way. It is understanding. But Joe, Joe, let me ask you this. I mean, would men take women for granted if they realize that a woman is contributing? I mean, so in as much as maybe you might have some excess money, you would want to maybe, let me use the word, waste it outside because you know she's going to uh, be contributing somewhat to the upkeep of the house, household expenses. Would men take women for granted? No, David. You see, <laughs> everything comes back to budget budgeting mm-hmm. and uh inflows income i will be in mm-hmm. what it is is uh if you are asking for a 50 50 kind of uh contribution to run the family budget mm-hmm. then it means the other side of your 50 should be transparent mm-hmm. uh you should be able to explain what else you are doing with the okay. the other 50. Yeah. i can say for sure that when your woman or your man get to know that the other part of your budget is being spent, I wouldn't say wasted, or invested in other unproductive ventures, it becomes a challenge for them to contribute. Because every woman will tell you, the money is my money. Your money is for the family. Me, woman, the money is my money. You, the man, you are the head of the house. The, your money is to cater for everything in the family. Let me say this. Me, I don't do 50-50, I do 70-30. But my partner keeps telling me it is sweeter when I give her money outside the budget. That's all by the bear Mexica. But (laughs) all these things helps in the in our communication, in our running of the house, and so on and so forth. So what I can say is that uh, apart from love, the commitment we all show towards the relationship for it to be long lasting and for it to be forever and ever. It should, it should help in our decision in how we all contribute towards the budget and then sincerely smile when we are making our contribution. Well, when you're making the contribution, not frown. I like that. But, but, but madam, let me come to you with this. I mean, there are other arguments that when a woman supports the, 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 the house you know, expenses, there are occasions where she tries to pollute the minds of the children against the man. So, you know, there are some statements that they make insulting the man and all that. How true are those things? Do women really pollute the mind of their children against their husbands or their fathers? Um, <clears throat> I would say no. Some women do. Some women do. But um, a large majority of them, I don't have any statistics to that but and the larger majority does not in fact do not do that you know they will just tell the pers- the children um well your daddy is trying we are all trying so you take your time well it depends on the person i must say it depends on the woman if the woman is a vindictive type obviously even if she's not the one providing it is the man, and he, she takes the money from the man and gives to the children. Then, in quotation, that I'm assuming uh, the money rule is there. So she will make the children see that it is she who is doing it, even though she might have taken the money from the daddy and given to the child. So it is subjective. And yet, a man in an Majority will do, but yet, a man in an all right, uh, Joe and uh, Madam, thank you very much for your time with us this morning. We're grateful you're to all of you for welcome. talking thank to us, especially thank sharing some personal stuff with us. So, but, but Joe, what, what advice will you give to men out there as well? Uh, <laughs> what I can say is men, we are providers, and we should be happy in doing that. And uh, another thing, too, that I will say is our women should understand 
uh, our economic uh, our, our income levels and how much could be made disposable for the family's uh, upkeep. What I also want to say is that when our women see that our investment to other sectors are not productive to the uh, when, when I'm saying it in quotes so you understand, you can make your own new friend. If the woman sees that the money is being spent on something else, apart from the upkeep of the family, it becomes difficult. Then they will tend to hold on to their their support as that uh, men are providers, they are only supporters. So don't put any ratio on how much the percentages that I have to contribute to run the house. After all, you are the man of the house. So for our women to understand and contribute fairly to the household budget depends on our uh, our movement. I mean, what we do with ourselves and how we communicate. Uh, that, that helps. That helps. And this is what has been helping me past 19 years. All right, Joe, thank you very much, sir, uh, for your time. And of course, you, All madam, right, yeah. uh, as well. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. So it's about time for us to be activating the phone lines <laughs> on 03220 okay. 83596, 03220 83597, and 03220 Our conversation this morning is centered on the fact that, listen, we're in tough times, rough times. If you look at the economy, inflation keeps rising. And, uh, Yes, we are raised to believe, to have at the back of our minds that it is a man's role to fend for the for the home and provide for the home, and to a large extent, it's the woman's role to keep the home. I mean, cleaning, but then were you, were you raised to believe, or that's how naturally we are wired? Well, I, I would say that I was raised to believe so, I, and, I and, that's we, why, and that's why Joe was, 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 for example, saying that when the, uh, the you know, traditional marriage ceremony is ongoing, you'll be told some of these things. I'm looking at at a point of. Uh, you know, having n- natural rules. Mm. You know, um, naturally, even when you look at the animal kingdom, for for mm. instance, mm. it's always the male that is protecting the whole head, Leads, making yeah. sure that uh, they are they are out of danger and all that. The women or the female animals uh, is is, is the, for the care. Mm. They will find food for the little ones, and mm. so I think even naturally, uh, yes, not just traditionally, but we for, are the ones for, who are for men to who, for example, provide. say that we should have. And I've seen callers on the lines. So we'll be going on the phone lines shortly. But for, for, for men who are of the view that women should make contributions, women should contribute, and even contribute half or share, the, the responsibility should be shared equally. Are men also prepared to take up some household chores, domestic chores? Why not? I mean, that, that, that's not a big deal. There are deal. men who live in, the, the the in compact uh-huh. houses yeah. who don't want to be seen washing dishes or sweeping because then they will be looked at funny. As a, fem- a feminine uh, attribute. I, I know a lady who made her husband pound for food for years. <laughs> so, so, so the society is... So, but if you are the man and you're not providing enough financial support in, of, in terms of the expenditure, huh? how can you refuse to pound the fufu or wash the curtains or wash the bed sheets and stuff like that? Let's go to the phone lines and engage with our callers there. 03220 and 83598. You can call us. Kofi, good morning and welcome. Yeah, good morning, Dave. Um, the man Joe, who triggered this conversation, he was, he was not able to convince me. You see, this mentality gives the woman the edge to also keep their monies. You asked him, okay, if the table turns, he, he said that if a man is earning 100000 a month, he should bring uh, 5000 And if the woman is earning 1005 he should bring 750 It means the woman is also bringing uh, uh, half of, his, um, of her pay. That is 50-50. That is what he wants to tell us. But when you ask him, if the table turns, will it be the same? The answer was, no, we have to uh, sit down and discuss. Sit down and discuss what? When it has to do with the man, then the woman has to bring. But if the woman is any 100,000, then uh, and you, the man, any 1,005, you are saying you should sit down and discuss. You see, this is the mentality of some men. That is the reason why marriages are finding it difficult to survive. Because the woman doesn't want to be cheated. 
when you have enough, you don't want to provide. But when the woman doesn't have enough, you won't care to provide. What, what kind of logic is this? I hear you, Kofi. But Kofi, if, if men are asking women to, you know, uh, share equally the household I was going to ask whether women women should also ask their men to you know help with the house chores. Richard uh, Opogu of Peace and Love is on the line. Hi, Richard. Good morning. Good morning, boss. And how are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Right, let's hear you, boss. But let me start with the statistics that came out that 99 percent of women who are working, when you go to their smith, their husbands are not the nest of king. But you go to um, the other side. Most men are using their wives as nest of kin. Okay, now I think it's about time that notion of unya dia fabrici unya kafako you know should change because things have changed. Gone were the days where women were made to sit in the house as housewives just to cook for their husbands. Now they are all career women. They are supposed to go out there and then also get something to the house. Why is it so? Because they have to contribute to the running of the house. And so if you are sticking to that uh, old notion that men are supposed to provide 100% of housekeeping, I think we are not going forward. Things will have to change. Yes, the man is the head of the house, no doubt about that. But there shouldn't be a percentage quote on how much each of you should contribute. It should be like us and when you have because if I don't have the 50% and then you have 70%, does it mean that if you contribute the 70% is a taboo? No. We need to contribute to help the household. I mean, Dave, say, let's, let's take this for example. A crown school fees, 20 million. The man has been able to raise 1,500. The woman is supposed to add 500 and the man begs her. You see, on oh, papa, the school fees, this I'm going to be and coach. As if the man is the, I mean, the only person who is taking care of the child. It shouldn't be so. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Richard Opoku, for joining us this morning. You can also call us on 0322083596, 0322083597, and 0322083598. Tuga, please hold the line for me. Christoph came through first. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, David Accord. I hope you are fine, sir. The Lord is my shepherd. I am well. Good to have you, Chris. Well, David, as you know, I'm into adult education. Uh, anybody who wants to read and write and speak good English like David Accord, uh, kindly contact me. I'll be able to help you. David, once I'm going to say, this is your show. If it is to be run in tree, you see the kind of people who will be calling and the thoughts that will be shared. But because of the English, some are so handicapped and they are so, they are so limited. And see, when they contact me, within a month, they, they'll be able to read and write and speak good English. David, moving forward. David, do you know why there are, you see beautiful women walking by the street and all that, and they are widows? It's because their husbands are dead, leaving them just like that. Why? The pressure on men is too much. Everything. In the man. Maybe I'm married with kids. My father is alive. My mom is alive. They are all depending on me. My my other siblings are also depend on me. David, how will I be able to take care of all of them if my wife see, is not willing to help? You see, we are behaving like ostriches where we don't want to tell the truth. Look, our culture is not the Western culture. A woman, is, the Bible says, "Obey one for a man, bear man." It didn't say you become a bad thing. Onto the man. And so let's draw the line that look, if you're a woman, you must support your husband. Don't leave anything on him. David, the pressure on men is too much. Oh. So men are dying because the school fees, life bill, rent, they that your father, your even your in laws are even looking up to you. David, what kind of society are we building? So Chris, are you are you are you saying that women should, you know, contribute equally to the expenses of the home? David, even if not equally, they should they should continue something. They should they should complement the effort of the man. I hear you, Christoph. There, I don't know what Tuga thinks though, but Tuga is next on the line. Hi, Tuga. Good morning. Tuga, good morning. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, Tuga, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. Uh, Thanks I, for holding I, I, up for I, us. Uh, you, Tuga. 
Yes, I agree with the last caller. In fact, I always use my marriage as an example. Last, I was telling Melvin that sometime when my wife goes to the ATM and she's going to take money, she asks, do you have something on you at home? I'm, then I'll say, oh, yes, or no. Then I'll say, then sometimes 300 or so. Not that I don't have money. When we got married, we, we, we our salary level um, were the same, you know? So, and up to now, then I cannot remember the day I gave money as shop money. We all use our money. Like when you go to town, I say that. But when she, this morning, for instance, I didn't have uh, um, change, small, small money. So she had to give the children money. But sometimes the children, they feel that it's the mother or the, uh, the wife who is providing. So sometimes they also have to come in and say that, oh, you see, this guy is poor. I'm going to have to fix it. I have to do this. So that for them to know that you're also using your money. Um, to cater for the house, not for a personal uh, um, um, something. So you see, so since we got married, there's nothing like this is my money and this is this person's money and this is that person's money. So the idea of 50 50, I, I don't buy it. Yesterday, for instance, she went to uh, correct her ATM. She quickly sent me the pin. Why would she do that? So you see that, so some of the callers, they say that the man have to provide everything and do. So also, because of that, also. Assist in the house. Sometimes I see that she's getting late in the meeting. You understand? And we are living happily together. So they should come together and be one, as the Bible says. And do they, this is my money and this, this, this is my Always there will be that quarrel. It's money. Do you see? These many divorces and other things, it's based on money. And after that, love. I hear you. Two guys. Thanks for joining us. 03220 Three two two zero eight three five nine seven and zero three two two zero eight three five nine eight. Uh, should the household expenses be shared equally between the husband and the wife? What's your take, George? Good morning. Good morning, David. How are you, George? As, as well with me. It's been a while. Good to have you on the show, George. Thank you, David. David, the man is supposed to be the provider for the family. If the woman has and she want to help, fine. David, you know why the uh, marriages are collapsing these days? Now, these young guys used to say, Meme Toba, Juma. So, from the one you have, if you feel to think that you, if a woman does not have a job, you want to marry that woman. That means, as a man, you have already failed. You don't even have to go into the finances of the woman. Because, David, you are taking care of your daughter from KG to university to also come and take care of you. Isn't it? And you the man. You also your parents have taken care of you to also come and cater for them. So the woman also has responsibility at home. So if David, if you are married and the woman has and she sits down and say and see that today things are not going well, there is no food in the house, she will provide fine. But you don't have to force the woman into that. Baby, I've married for 31 years now. And I, I know I'm responsible for the house. So those who say the young women who are working before they go into marriage, they should know that already they have failed. It is not the responsibility of the woman to cater for the house. I hear you, George. Thanks very much, George. Uh, Victor, hold the line for me. Let me speak to Sahini first. Hi, Sahini. Hi, David. Good, Good morning, morning, Sahini. I hope all is well. That is my shepherd. I'm well. But tell me this. Oh, sorry, Vic Victoria, not Victor. Victoria, hold the line for me. Uh, Sahini, how long have you been married for? Uh, uh, I'm not married yet, but um, we are in the preparation mode to getting married. Wish you well. I wish you well. But let's hear you. Yeah, um, David, I think with this assertion that it is um, the sole responsibility of a man to provide for a woman, I think has made a lot of our ladies very, very lazy. Why am I saying that? I always um, say to um, the one I'm with that God created everyone uniquely. You have a purpose. If you even you are a woman, you have a purpose here in life. So it is we um, both of us that we are supposed to make your purpose actualize. So if you sit down and tell me that um, it is the sole responsibility of a man to provide for you, that means you don't even have or you have not find your purpose that you are here on earth. Look, let's um, take this as an example. Uh, the ladies who often come to my maid's face show, most of them will say, many no one me, no one So ask myself, 
um, what if the man is incapacitated or the man um, 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 died right after you gave birth? Does that mean the child that you are bringing on earth wouldn't have someone to be taken care of? So I think we should change this narrative and um, start making our women work and make sure that they are also coming to the marriage or uh, table with something that will be beneficial for both of us. No. I hear you, Sahini. Thank you very much. And uh, the women who come to my first show, they are trying. You know, it's not like they, they, they're leaving everything on the men. That's how come they, they, the child is still alive, the child still looks good and all that. They just want the men to be responsible. And that's, of course, a good good thing. If, if you make a woman pregnant and Sometimes she delivers, you want to, to be responsible. Victor, uh, Victoria, good morning. Yes, brother, please, I want to speak to you. Say, our year Juma or any more than you or Bano. It just are not six nine a day. Brady, if I talk a crime, they walk along. Victoria, thank you very much. All right, for joining us. Uh, 03220 You can also call us. Um, should the household expenses be shared equally? by the husband and the wife or the partners what do you think erasmus good morning and welcome hello erasmus yeah hello Uncle yes sir good morning sir good morning. all right so welcome erasmus let's hear you thank you uh, erasmus please turn on the volume on your radio set for me please thank you yeah like i'm saying marriage is a collaboration Uncle Dave. Is it gone where the days where men were asked to? I believe once in that, that as a man, you have to play your role as the head of the family. But it gets to a point where you will need the support of your wife. You see, recently I got myself into a mess. And I, I am the type who never asked my wife for money. But my wife knowing very well what I've gone through, she didn't ask me anything. Though she knows what I was going through, and she's been so much of, or she's been supportive all these while. I think it's between the two, knowing very well what they want to do with their life and where they would want to go with that marriage. Once that is not there, I think we should forget about what is marriage. Uh, and I believe if people are going to understand themselves, that in that union, there is nothing like this is mine, this is yours. But we have what belongs to all of us. We can, we can actually build a better, a better family and a better community. And I hear you, Erasmus. Those are your thoughts. Let me hear that of Paul Asari, who's next on the line. Hi, Paul. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I am well, Paul. Good to have you on the show. So, your thoughts, sir? Um, Dave, the Bible says um, the woman should come and help the husband. So, it's, it's the woman has a responsibility as well. The, help, the Bible didn't even teach which kind of help. He said help. So, whether financial or the housekeeper or whatever, the woman should help should be the help made to the to their husband. If the man leaves everything on the woman, the man loses his uh, manly uh, duties to perform. So I believe that men, the pressure, as uh, Chris Ford said, the pressure on men is so many. So if uh, honorable ladies don't help, it will be a disaster. I hear you, Paul. I Sorry, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, and, and Leo, you, when, when Victoria made her submission and said, listen, when the women are supporting, some men will use the other surplus of the money 
to spend on other women, you had an issue. Yeah, I have an issue with that because uh, a lot of women. Is have, it not true? It's not true. It's not. Bem or pema, not pema. Say it's a holy truth. No, no. I mean, bem or pema, not pema. It doesn't mean that uh, some of them have nothing, but they will still go and chase women. So it's not because and, what other, and, money, other, and others will still take that surplus money outside to another. Woman. That, that's what I'm saying. The open man or not open man, but it, it's not something that say uh, if the man has m more money or if I help him, then he will use my money to go and chase other women. Am I playing that from Saudi? Exactly. Speaking from experience or something. Oh, yes, of course. I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. I know. I know what it is. But they have this, this, uh, you know, warped logic about men. You know, you know, if I help him, then he will use my money to go and chase other women. It doesn't work like that. If you have an, a, a husband or, or a boyfriend who is a womanizer, he's a womanizer. It doesn't. It, it, it has nothing to do with the, the nature of men. You, yate. So what are people saying on uh, the WhatsApp console? We have some four minutes to wrap up. Hello, Dave. Um, good morning. I think um, it's a nice program that you are doing. I think as a man uh, with our Petraka system, um, since the creation of man, it has been man who should lead the home and other things. But things are changing. Things are really changing. Um, women are now getting involved in work and other things. And there are women who are doing very well in world, okay? And there's nothing wrong with a woman supporting the home, if both agree, okay? So if the woman is the one with the cash, try, she should try and empower the man, okay? So that both of them, at least, can be at par, if not at par, but the man can be contributing significant enough. Uh, you alluded to uh, the animal kingdom, but it's ironical. The animal kingdom, the animals we think who are the strongest, the lions and other things, is the females who go for hunting, and the males sit down for them to bring them the meal. So I think um, things are what are changing. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, sir, for sending in your uh, your, your voice message. Uh, but there's a very long worded text in. <laughs> what, what, what's the person saying, you? Know? Okay, yeah, it says uh, his name is Franklin. He says, "Good morning, David. Uh, David, I have been listening to you and your team every morning. You are doing a great job. Keep it up. Thank you, uh, Franklin." He says, David, this is my first time of reaching you at your studio, and I'm very, very happy for today's topic. My nephew and the husband has married for only six years with one kid. My nephew is doing all the expenses in the house, including the chop money. My nephew's father has borrowed them uh, 7,000 cities to buy Pragya to support the family. The father again gave out his BMW saloon car to the couple at a reduced rate uh, for their daily activities after their wedding ceremonies. The husband always complained of hardships due to online multiple loans to support the sister and his father uh, without the consent of my nephew. And they are young graduate teachers with an average Ghanaian salary. Due to his secret and dubious expenses, he always brings home 400 Ghana cities as a graduate teacher and lean on my nephew's salary. Both families are meeting tomorrow at the husband's family house on the issue and I wish you were here, David. My nephew is doing 80% of the house expenses and who is to blame? My good friend, Mr. David Akwete. And my regards to you, Nanekia, and, uh, okay, the person... <laughs> well, if you my share with us, the house team that's going to take place... Uh uh, tomorrow, I would like to hear the outcome of that very meeting. But I, I think that the the Elo has been generous, hasn't he? I mean, having given some 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 seven thousand Ghana cities, uh, you know, as, as as a loan, having given them the the BMW BMW car. To, to, to buy the Prague yeah, yeah. to run uh, as a business to make some extra extra, extra cities, and then having. But from what he's saying, everything is leaning on the on the female uh, member of the family. Mm, That's his the, nephew, the niece, the niece, niece yeah. yeah. Because the guy comes with four hundred residents. Yes, but they are both teachers. They are both teachers. So the, the, the niece should know that. Listen, she doesn't earn four hundred Ghana cities. So question is, what does the guy use the, his salary for? And he's leaning on this lady, and that is where the problem is. Listen, if a woman is supporting you, if a woman is helping you, you have don't to come take clean. It, don't you know, take it for yeah. granted. You have to come clean. You understand? Yeah. What, what is somebody else saying there? Good morning, Dave. 
no i don't think we should share everything equally yes because the man is the head of the family and that does not also mean that the man being the head of the family will leave everything on his head no it is for the two of you to decide me for instance when the man ends whatever my husband has he give it to me for the month and that money whether he can take care of the everything in the house that is why he has given to me so i also add my money to it this morning ghana if you have to leave everything for the man he will die before his time the men they have a lot of responsibilities looking at where i'm coming from and so you don't have to decide that oh you being 50 percent you do this no we even when my husband gives me that money and then it's not up to the uh, uh, end of the month and the money to finish up i will still ask if i ask and he has fine if he doesn't have a so be it for women and men who have been married for 20 years and above they understand you know some of these things for those who have been married 10 years and below they don't get some of these things we <laughs> <laughs> are with mta and uh, m Copa device finance you can now buy a sleek and trendy smartphone and enjoy the luxury of paying in an in, a, in amazing easily daily weekly or even monthly installment plans all you have to do is to walk into any of mtn's um, services centers in accra central <coughs> achimota mall dansumal dansuman medina to do and circle to choose your favorite from a wide range of mobile phones on offer and the best part is all phones come with up to two gigabyte free data so you can share your pictures and get all the biggest scoops online for the first six months after purchase so go on share the exciting news with your family and your friends and like i always say to you you might be wondering oh but why is it in accra circle you know achimota mall or dansaman and all that listen if you have a friend or a relation in accra tell them about it they can buy the phone and send it to you right here in Kumasi, so you get to enjoy it let's talk about anointed electrical engineering services now anointed Electrical Engineering Services Limited is into sales of ultra silent generators from 5 kVA to 2500 kVA and they undertake maintenance and repairs of all kinds of diesel engine de- generators. They also stock genuine spare parts of all kinds for various generators and also do generator rentals. You can find them at TAT Yard off the Akmayanka Road, Asakwa. In Accra, you can visit their head office on number 77 anointed house of the odoko malam road call them now on 0243-480-334 that is 0243-480-334 or 0544-340-589 can we now talk about um you know syntax yeah let's do because if you're looking for a perfect color when it comes to the tanks you want to use in your home syntax has that color you dream it and you'd get it what guarantee do you want well syntax has it too and again if you're wondering the kind of inner layer you you might be looking for whether double triple quadruple for your information as inner as many inner layers as you want syntax has it so remember no matter what your water needs syntax has it syntax tank a uh, strong a uh, tough now they have over 300 agents nationwide and to order a tank all you need to do is to call 0244-335-168 visit syntax on social media at syntax ghana or you can shop online on www.syntexgh.com syntax tank like i said a uh, strong a uh, tough now you want to go study abroad i'll be telling you about this consult in a bit but before then i want you to wake up to a new taste of bigo cola nothing comes close to bigo cola a drink of joy both cold and sweet bigo drink is a range of soft drinks de- de- uh, developed bottled and distributed in ghana by trillium industrial ghana bigo cola drink offers a great taste and superior value to consumers now for your parties your weddings your funerals and all occasions reach out for bigo drinks now for for the school children i bet you that is the drink of choice so anytime you want a drink to quench your t- your thirst reach out for bigo cola and feel the, t- the taste of nature for bulk purchases please call 03221-90877 it's a quality product from trillium industries and so you get it and you'll be glad you did at this point in time we'll be getting ready to cross over to join 99.7 but before we do the crossing over and the conversation this morning is do women really want to know the truth something happens your woman asks you tell me the truth question is do re- women really want to be told the truth that's the conversation coming up here later this morning on the super, super morning show but for now some messages owning a home is an accomplishment when it comes to choosing our preference of living we are faced with a dilemma 
Will you go for affordability, comfort, or luxury? Well, we will help you choose your preferred home at a very affordable and convenient way at the 2023 edition of the Love FM Republic Bank Habitat Fair. The Love FM Republic Bank Habitat Fair is slated for Friday, 6th October to Sunday, 8th October, 2023 at the Kumasi City Mall, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. each day. This event is brought to you by your superstation, Love 99.5 FM, in partnership with Republic Bank and supported by and there he comes the man with many keys that's me bro <laughs> so funny. one more critical key and i'll be the most comfortable man a key to my own home that's the one key you need just talk to the mortgage expert republic bank oh yeah when you sign on to Republic Pension Back Mortgage, you can own a home before you retire, you know. Republic Pension Back Mortgage, right? It is fantastic. Good thing is, you get to use your Tier 3 pension contributions. Wow. Soon, I'll also be a landlord. For further info on Republic Pension Back Mortgage, contact Republic Bank now. Republic Bank, we are the one for you. BBC Industries are the producers of Leyland Paint. Finest paint with its quality has the finest prizes, home charm, wonder coats and gold paint. Leyland Paint has changed the label design to a new one. But remember, it is the same quality since 1964. Sunset Hotel has the best of accommodation, air-conditioned rooms to make your stay a memorable one. Sunset Hotel has introduced a live band session every Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 5pm right till 10pm, which comes with a massive discount on our food, especially on our local dishes like fufu with a bunobuno going for 20 Ghana cities. Sunset Hotel Life Band, there is no Nothing like it. Let's meet this and every weekend for your weekend's relaxation. We are located at Cedar Crescent at Denyame. Call us on 0207-228-455. Are you building your own house, school, church, store, or are you a building contractor? Then come to Pristodia Ghana Limited. We offer services like fabrication and installation of stainless steel balustrade, stainless gate and fence wall design, aluminum UPVC windows, burglar proof, glass and plastic canopies, frameless glass structure, frameless glass cubicle, frameless glass door, and all architectural metal works. Locate Pristodia Ghana Limited at Asokori Mampo near Kumasi Academy and opposite the Garden City Commercial School. Call us on 0244-612-507. Are you a breadwinner? and worried about your family's future financial situation? Then allow yourself and your family to enjoy maximum peace of mind in the event of an unforeseen circumstances. What's more, in collaboration with Spectra Health Mutual Insurance Scheme, the Ultimate Protection Plus now offers you free imaging services such as ultrasound scan, CT scan, mammogram, x-ray, MRI, as well as discounted rate for medical interventional procedures and many more. Our sales team across the country is ready to help you take charge of your future today with the Star Life Ultimate Plus. You can call us on 0302-739-600 or WhatsApp us on 058-081-786. Star Life Ultimate Protection Plus protecting what you love. At Lash Fortune Limited, interior design and furnishing is our passion with specialty in home, hotel and office furnishing. We have available quality curtains, blinds, carpets and custom made furniture. Lash Fortune Limited is located at Plot 50 Otuajin Road, Kotobabi Spintex. For more information, contact us on 0244-265-588 or 0302-811-163. Our email address is lashgana at yahoo.com Lash Fortune Limited Luxuriously Perfect Owning a home is an accomplishment When it comes to choosing our preference of living we are faced with a dilemma Will you go for affordability, comfort, or luxury? Well, we will help you choose your preferred home at a very affordable and convenient way at the 2023 edition of the Love FM Republic Bank Habitat Fair. The Love FM Republic Bank Habitat Fair is slated for Friday, 6th October to Sunday, 8th October, 2023 at the Kumasi City Mall, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. each day. This event is brought to you by your superstation, Love 99.5 FM, in partnership with Republic Bank and Support. Supported by and there he comes the man with many keys that's me bro <laughs> so funny. one more critical key and i'll be the most comfortable man a key to my own home that's the one key you need just talk to the mortgage expert republic bank oh yeah 
When you sign on to Republic Pension Back Mortgage, you can own a home before you retire, you know. Republic Pension Back Mortgage, right? It is fantastic. Good thing is, you get to use your tier 3 pension contributions. Wow. Soon, I'll also be a landlord. For further info on Republic Pension Back Mortgage, contact Republic Bank now. Republic Bank, we are the one for you. BBC Industries are the producers of Leyland Paint. Finest paint with its quality has the finest prices, home charm, wonder coats and gold paint. Leyland Paint has changed the label design to a new one. But remember, it is the same quality since 1964. Sunset Hotel has the best of accommodation, air-conditioned rooms to make your stay a memorable one. Sunset Hotel has introduced a live bond session every Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 5 p.m. right till 10 p.m., which comes with a massive discount on our food, especially on our local dishes like fufu with a bunobuno going for 20 Ghana cities. Sunset Hotel Life Band, there is nothing like it. Let's meet this and every weekend for your weekend's relaxation. We are located at Cedar Crescent and Denyame. Call us on 0207-228-455. Are you building your own house, school, church, store, or are you a building contractor? Then come to Pristodia Ghana Limited. We offer services like fabrication and installation of stainless steel balloons straight stainless gate and fence wall design aluminium upvc windows burglar proof glass and plastic canopies frameless glass structure frameless glass cubicle frameless glass door and all architectural metal works locate pristodia ghana limited at asokori mampo near kumasi academy and opposite the garden city commercial school call us on 0244 612 507 are you a breadwinner and worried about your family's future financial situation, then allow yourself and your family to enjoy maximum peace of mind in the event of an unforeseen circumstances. What's more, in collaboration with Spectra Health Mutual Insurance Scheme, the Ultimate Protection Plus now offers you free imaging services such as ultrasound scan, CT scan, mammogram, x-ray, MRI, as well as discounted rate for medical interventional procedures and many more. Our sales team across the country is ready to help you take charge of your future today with the Star Life Ultimate Plus. You can call us on 0302-739-600 or WhatsApp us on 058-081-786. Star Life Ultimate Protection Plus. Uh, nice this weekend. Uh, but, but, but I couldn't uh, help but laugh at some of those flashback sounds <laughs> from the election petition. Hey, Ghana, we have had some history before. <laughs> General Mosquito, he had me in stitches. <laughs> You know, when we were going through the emotions, mm-hmm, we couldn't mm-hmm. feel the humor. What, yeah, mm. what we're feeling now. Yeah. It's good to bring back some of indeed, these audios. Uh, also, to tell people that these two, you know, normally they are two people on different sides. Mm. They are the same. Like, yeah. you know, they're friends. <laughs> they, they, ask, they, they, they gave you tea and biscuits, did they not? I said, they gave they us tea, <laughs> but there were no biscuits. <laughs> it's almost as if this is a hearing about how much money the Electoral Commission spent on biscuits. <laughs> so, so, you know, chief evidence. No, is he wanted to the, set the record. It was going to go on record. He needed to say no that biscuit. he was only given tea. Don't be adding biscuit to the record when... <laughs> but you know the lesson. <laughs> mm-hmm. When they offer you tea next time, mm-hmm. say no, thank you. That's the lesson. <laughs> 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 there were no biscuits. It didn't go as far as biscuits. Anyway, listen, today on the Super Morning Show, uh, the question is very simple. I mean, do women want you to tell them the truth? They say they do. I mean, that's what they say, right? You have to be honest as a man. You don't lie. But is that really what they want? Do they want to hear negative things too? We have a story that we will play to you, okay? Uh, you know, a letter somebody wrote into a, um, a podcast and, uh, you know, for advice. You will listen to her story and then we will see whether indeed women always want the truth or not. So, huh. could you? Yes. If I you're do. my husband, right? Yes. And you know that I exercise. Mm-hmm. And one of my issues, mm-hmm. one of the things that I'm working on is my tummy. Okay. And I come to you and I ask you, what do you think now? Mm-hmm. I want to know the truth, right? Mm-hmm. But you also must be a bit sensitive. Okay, you know that I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. So don't sound like you don't know I'm doing anything about it. Okay. So not only do you want the truth, but you want to tell people how to tell you the truth. No, that's not what I've said. You I'm said? just saying that. Uh-huh. See, 
remember you mm-hmm. are aware that I am working on it. Yes. Before you tell me something, mm-hmm. chances are me myself no minimum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yes. If if I've spent some <laughs> if I've spent some crazy amount on mm-hmm. some hairpiece, right? Yeah. And the yeah. hairpiece turns out not to be nice. Yes. I know. Okay. I I have my own regrets, mm-hmm. but don't add to to it. That's just what I'm saying. I'm right. saying that be sensitive. Okay. Don't talk to me like me. I don't know what's one, wrong with the thing. One thing I'm very conscious of is the timing of truth. I mean, I believe that the truth is is it, 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 it's always best to tell the truth, but sometimes the timing of it can be important. For instance, if I'm going out on a date with someone. And we are leaving the house. And after we've left the house, I noticed that something about her outfit doesn't quite work. Mm -hmm. But we've left the house. It's too late to go back and change. Right? But we are now embarking on the date. I won't tell her until after the date. Ah, then why say it at all? After the date, I'll point it out. I'll say, oh, you know, this is your thing. If you had worn it this way, it might have been better. (laughs) For the future. Right, but on that day, if I feel like if I tell her before we go, it will affect her mood throughout the whole date. She'll feel self conscious throughout the whole date. So I'll be sensitive to that and tell her afterwards. Okay, afterwards, yes. I will still be thinking about. See, we connect a lot of things, so mm-hmm. the thinking will be oh, so is that why he wasn't this? Is that why he wasn't that? Is that why he wasn't you that? You can ask me if you're thinking all those things. Ask mm. me, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the truth shall set you free. <laughs> I'll tell you. But the thing is, look, it, 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 so so you let me ask you this. If if a woman asks her man, what don't you like about me? Mm-hmm. And maybe what the man doesn't like about her is her nose is too big. Or, you know, she's too fat. Or, you know, her eyes are a bit crooked. Should he say... <laughs> Hey, come on, yes. No, I quite the No, so, <laughs> the, the, the thing is, so it's just like the um, the tummy thing that I mentioned, right? It, it, she she knows she's put on. So why is she asking? If you know she's working on it, like, are you aware she's trying to do something about it? Why does that make? Are you difference? are you aware she's uncomfortable with it? Like, do you know? But because I think it depends. If you if you if you are aware mm-hmm. that she's working on herself, mm-hmm. then you must be minded. So what you say, mm-hmm. mu- you must be sensitive. So she understand. wants to know what you don't like about her. But the question is not really about you and what your feelings are about her. It's about her and what her feelings are about herself. Stop analyzing the thing. Like no, I'm asking you. because ah, me, you're asking me a question, but you're saying I shouldn't tell you my answer. I should tell you the answer that will work for you. Anyway, how open, do I handle this dude? Cry? Open the door into your dream house. There is no feeling quite like returning home after a busy day at work. I mean, that feeling you get hearing the keys turn in the lock to open the door uh, and walk into your own little piece of paradise. Well, with a mortgage from Absa, you get to enjoy that feeling over and over again in your own home. If you're a salaried worker, you can borrow up to five million Ghana cities at fixed or variable interest rates and pay back your loan over a period of 20 years. Discover how to get things done at absa.com.gh. That's Africanacity. That's Absa. Terms and conditions apply. You know, you shouldn't sink in your bed, right? So if you're sinking in your bed, then uh, you probably are using the wrong mattress. Is your mattress failing to give you the safety and comfort you deserve? Get yourself a royal foam mattress, which guarantees you the good sleep and relaxation you deserve today. As space setters, we have attached pillows to the mattress you buy for free. Get this offer.